The Prevalon Heel Protector 1 helps minimize pressure, friction, and shear on the feet, heels, and ankles of non-ambulatory patients. It completely offloads the heel for continuous pressure relief. To begin, open the bag. The heel protector is packaged inside out to make it easy to properly position the heel. Place the heel protector on the bed with the long side next to your patient's leg. Position the heel over the opening. This is essential to float or offload the heel. The heel protector has four sequential compression device access ports to work with your DVT prevention protocol. When using an SCD, place the heel protector under your patient's foot. Select the appropriate access ports and route the device tubing through. Do not use the heel hole as an access port. Next, pull the sides up around the foot and toes, ankle, and lower leg. If the tag is visible, it is on correctly. Check any tubing to make sure it's not kinked or bent. Also, make sure it is positioned away from the skin. The Prevalon Heel Protector 1 comes with two closure straps that adhere to a Velcro panel on the heel protector. When fastening the closure straps, make sure the straps do not come in contact with the patient's skin. Do not over tighten. Finally, make sure the heel is floated. Check by looking or feeling in the opening at the bottom of the heel protector. If the heel is not floated, reposition the heel and readjust the closure straps. The heel protector is for use on non-ambulatory patients only and should be removed prior to ambulation. Do not allow your patients to stand or walk while wearing the heel protector. The heel protector should be removed periodically to assess the skin according to your protocol. To remove, simply detach the closure straps, remove the heel protector, and turn it inside out. This makes it easier to position the heel when putting it back on. If needed, a damp cloth can be used to wipe down the heel protector. For more information about this or other Sage products, call or visit our website today.